Hi everyone, Lauren here with Lauren Elizabeth Fine Art. Welcome to another stress relieving animal painting tutorial. In today's tutorial, we will be painting this crab. And this was a recommendation made by one of you lovely subscribers, so thank you. I've also been getting incredible feedback from you guys with the paintings that you've been making. Here's examples of just a few. I just can't believe how great they're turning out and it's just so encouraging for me to know that these are really helping you. So thank you very, very much. The last thing that I would like to do is share with you my 2019 goals as a way of just being an encourager, a supporter and an inspiration to all of you for 2019. I have three that I've dwindled it down to because I have so many goals that I want to accomplish, but my three main ones are one being I'm taking on more challenging, larger, definitely more in-depth, time-consuming paintings that will challenge me and my skill. Last year was spending a lot of time developing my style. This year, now that I know my style and I really know my my um, what I specialize in, I'm now going to perfect it as best I can. And then everything that I learn, all the techniques and tips that I learn, I'm going to give in my tutorials. So that's really exciting for, for everyone. And then my second goal would be to be more methodical. There's a lot of areas in my life that I, I feel like are wasting time. Uh, spending hours on social media. Uh, I'll spend like a half hour in the shower. I mean, just things that I can shorten or cut out are, are things that I want to work on. So I've been really more structured in my workouts. I've been more structured in my diet plan. And lastly, my last goal, I want to do my very best at everything that I do. And that includes the videography part of these of my art business. I am new to this whole field. Videography is very foreign and intimidating to me. So I've been have my eye on the a camera. I'm saving up for the proper microphone, the proper lighting. I really want to provide quality videos that help you not only relax, but also help you to learn all the things that I'll be learning this year. With that said, if you feel uh, courage to share your goals for 2019, I would just love to read them and connect with you. So make sure you leave that in the comment section below. And lastly, if you like this video, make sure you press the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, I produce uh, videos every Friday that are stress relieving and that are of some sort of bright, cheerful animal tutorial. So um, without further ado, guys, let's get started. Make sure you check the description box below to view the most affordable materials for this painting. All right, guys, let's get started. The color I'm going to start with is, and I'm using my medium brush, is the orange. So I wet my brush. I'm now going to dip it into a little bit of orange. And we're just going to trace this guy with my medium brush. And start drawing him with my paintbrush. Now you might have to use the water quite a bit. You don't want it dripping. You, you definitely just want a little bit of paint on your brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and draw out this cute little crab. I'm actually making the legs over up here and then the face down here. So this part is gonna be a little jagged. And please don't worry if this is not perfect. This is going to be fixed up as we go. And I'm making this more in the center. You don't have to make this in direct center, but I'm going to. So I've made the body. And now I'm going to add four legs on each side. So first, before I add the legs, this guy's got a little bit of a butt leg connection right here. Okay, 
Okay, so to start, crabs have little sections of their legs and it looks like there's about five sections per part. So to make that easier on us, I'm gonna say we're just gonna add the leg, the full leg. And then we're gonna break it up into sections. So it's tiniest skinny parts here and then it kind of branches out a bit thicker. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is now break that up into a bit tinier sections. So there's one, there's two, this one's a bit smaller, three, and then this one comes out like that. And four and five, okay. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna do the same thing to the other leg. I see a little connection right here. So this is not part of the leg, this is just the connection. And I'm just gonna draw the full leg now. My brush is just a little too wet, so I'm gonna add some more paint. Little pointy. This is a little skinnier than the last one. Okay, now I'm gonna break it up. So there's that one connection, two, a little shorter, and three. He's got that little pointy nub at the end. Okay, next leg I'm gonna make come out starting from here. My dogs are playing in the background, so if you hear them, <laughs> they are wrestling like they always do. And now the same thing, we're making another little skinny part. A little skinny leg. This one's gonna have that nub kind of come down like that. <clears throat> Okay, now to section it off, there's one, two, and three. Great, lovely. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the front claws. All right, so the front claw, I'm gonna make, this is not the big claw, that claw's gonna come right here. I'm gonna make that claw come right in front. And this one's a little different because this is a bit bigger. I'm gonna break it up into sections first. So I'm gonna make this like muscular looking uh, part of the arm. And then I'm gonna have a little oval. And then this one comes out a bit thicker, but it's not the full claw. And then there's that little nub that comes down like that. Lovely. Okay. I'm going to wet my brush because i got to get some more paint and a little bit of water on this brush. We're going to do the same thing. I think I'm just going to work around. I'm going to work around this way. So we're going to start. This is the thicker claw, and I'm going to break it down like I did with this guy. This one I'm going to put I'm going to put over here. Okay, so this is thick. Quite a bit thicker. Okay, and then he has a little elbow. And then it comes down like this. Ooh, it's a lot thicker. And then there's that claw. Okay, I'm gonna make that claw kinda of look like this. It has a tiny bottom part and then a thick top, like that. So it's okay if you painted it like I did. Just as reference, we're gonna go back to that. Yeah, this one. I'm going to paint in two, so that's a bit thicker 
on top. Okay? And now we're going to go on to these skinny ones. So it's going to look, we're going to try and make this as symmetrical as we can. I am going to add this one little, little guy behind here and I need more water. And we're doing the full leg, but I'm going to make him still curving around like this. Now, I think what I did here is I made my leg a little bit longer than the other one. Do you know that's okay? We can either extend this one or when we're doing the background, shorten this one. So what I might even do, I might... No, I'm going to leave this be. We're going to see. The nice thing about acrylic is we can always fix it later. So I'm just going to keep this leg. I like this leg. So I'm just going to break it up now into sections. That little nub at the end. And then I'm going to make a third leg come out up here. It's going to come out a little bit because I didn't leave myself too much space over here. Um, and we're going to just draw that coming out like this. Breaking it up into sections. And then for the back leg, I'm going to do the same thing I did over here. I'm going to just draw out the leg, a little bit more water, and then bring it down, and then break it up into sections. This guy goes like that. Can get quite complicated with all these little legs. So I'm looking at this now and what I might do to make this more symmetrical is add a leg. <laughs> Crabs actually do have lots of legs. I'm gonna give it another leg, who's gonna know? So I'm gonna put this leg right in between here Gonna make it come down like this. And then little pointy nub. I'm trying to make this as symmetrical to this guy as I can. This will definitely give you practice on you know developing that eye for symmetry. It takes time. Don't worry if it's not looking perfect right now. This is just the beginning. Okay. So I have my crab. Lovely. All right, guys, so if you can see that, I have mixed, I wanna show you that because that's how much um, of the color I mixed. And I am working on, with my fat brush, my big brush, I'm gonna be working on the background. And I've created a yellow ochre with, ooh, what did I use? Raw sienna, okay, so just a tiny bit of raw sienna with a lot of yellow ochre and a lot of titanium white. And I made a good amount because I'm gonna cover everything in between the legs, everything um, with the sand color. Okay? So I've just wet my fat brush. I'm now just gonna go in and paint around the drawing that we just made. I, I think this is so exciting because crabs have so many colors in them and I can just I can't wait to add all these colors. Now one thing I've noticed people doing is they wet their brush once at the very beginning and then they never wet it again. So right now I actually have to go in and wet my brush again, dry it off so that it's just damp and then go back in and then paint. 
So when you notice that you're just using so much paint and it's like pulling at your brush, that's when it's time to use the water. I love the beach. I have so many awesome memories of the beach. I am actually originally from Pennsylvania, so we were close to New Jersey. And I just remember having so many times where we would build sand castles, we would go crabbing. We would never eat the crabs, but we would always get chicken legs. My dad would buy some chicken legs and we would go to the beach, tie a string to the chicken leg, and then just wait for these crabs to come. So much fun. We would go to Fenwick Island. I'd have to go swimming, surfing. It was just a blast. Sometimes when we're in the winter time, we kind of need a little boost. I'm just propping this up a little bit better because I want you to see the bottom of it. If there's any stories you guys had at the beach, please leave that in the comments below. I would just love to hear them. I don't know if uh, you're as much of a, a beach fan as I am. I love the snow, but sometimes the beach just is necessary. So as you can see, I'm kind of using the edge of my flat brush to get in between all those nooks and crannies. I always say it's better to be overlapping a little bit than leaving white because then we have to match that color later and then paint over it. So don't leave any white. So there's like I'm going over some white areas in the little nooks here. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you have all the white covered around the crab. You're even going to get in between, it's okay if you go over a little bit, but I'm even going to get in between that claw. I hope I have enough. I made, see look how far in I am on my, my paint. That's where that water comes in. You definitely want to have that water handy. This was a, a recommendation from one of you lovely subscribers. I, I love this because this crab, I never would have thought of painting this. This is my first crab I painted, but I was loving it because I just was excited about the beach theme and then also the fact that there is all these colors that we have to play with. Oh, and then a fun little, fun little thing to remember guys is don't forget the sides. Gotta remember that side. Okay, so now that we are done with the sketch and we are done with our background, I wanted to show you, this kind of looks like how usually the progression of finding a color. I was trying to find this color, but it, it took a few times. It took a few tries to try and figure out exactly the tone that I wanted. So um, to get to this color, which is what we're going to be painting with our medium brush, this uh, the body, is the blue with the grass green, the titanium white, and then a, a little yellow ochre. So the amounts that I used was I used a lot of green. I used a very little amount of blue because blue is like black. It goes a long way. And then I used a, a little bit of white and then a little bit of yellow ochre, mixed that together to create this little 
dark green turquoise color. And we're going to go in with our medium brush. And I'm going to cover that body with this color. Some people are like, oh, your colors look so bright and colorful. How do you get your color tones? And I, I tell them, I test it. It's a lot of testing because I, I definitely don't get the color the first try. It takes a little bit of practice and then just mixing lots of colors beforehand. So what I'm doing is I'm actually, I love to leave background colors. Like I love to little, leave little spots of orange or red or pink. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to leave a little bit of that orange, if you like, um, around this outline. So it doesn't have to be perfect, even if you don't get all the spots. And so here I'm going to kind of be a little bit more specific um, with my jagged edges. I'm going to use the, the medium brush to kind of create those blunt edges because on this crab that I'm looking at this is not very sharp it's just kind of blunt little pointy edges and then this is where the face is going to be now see there is quite a lot left of the outline so I'm going to do that on some areas, I'm going to leave it on some, but then others, I'm just going to go right over. We're going to go in later with our detail brush and kind of define those a bit better. So you don't have to worry if that's not exactly the way you want it. I'm going to coat, cover the rest of this guy. And the top here is a, a very flat. It's very sh like a straight line. So, and it doesn't go over this part. So this little butt connection here that I said, we're not going to go over that. We're just going to take it to about here. But just letting you know that it's it's pretty straight. Now you can go in with your fat brush and paint the rest of it, but I'm kind of enjoying being able to just do the, the brush strokes from uh, back, back and forth. It's very relaxing for me. So I'm gonna do that. Now one thing I noticed um, that I didn't really add much of is let's just elongate this point because this crab is not quite curvy enough where a lot of crabs have this like really curved um, body. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go over what we drew and just elongate this, bringing this down a little bit. Ooh, I like that and just make this nice curve that comes down adding a like a little bit of jagged towards the end okay all right everyone so I want to show you my next colors I made two different types of blues because we're going to be working on the legs now and there's sections that are light blue and there's sections that are dark 
And so I'm using the exact same color, titanium white and um, the blue. And I just added more white to this one and less white to this one. So I wanted to make a, as you can see, there's quite a bit of it too, because we have a bit uh, of uh, canvas to cover. So make a good amount and just make sure you have a good amount of titanium white more than your blue. And then you're actually still not adding more blue to this side. You're just adding a bit uh, less white. So add like the same amount of blue, just add a bit less white to this one. Okay, so now with my wet medium brush, I still have a little green on this one. I'm gonna go in and we're gonna start with our light blue. I like, we're gonna start with our dark blue first. Okay, so the dark blue is actually closer to towards the end of their the limbs. And I'm just going to, again, I'm going to leave some of that orange shine through, but not too much. I don't want to make it like way too obvious. And we're going to be making these sections that we were doing before. So we're going to kind of be breaking it up. So section by section like this. Okay, and then the next one, I'm also going to make this color, but not the next one after that because that's a light blue. And we're just going to do our dark blues first. And then we'll go to our light blues. Oh, and I can't forget this guy, this little point here. And at the joint, at these joints here, there is, we're going to leave it orange, okay? So leave it orange where I am showing you to. Um, some spots are not. Some spots are just painted the color that, that we're painting the crab. But for instance, here and here, they are left that we're going to paint in those joints later. Okay, so I'm leaving that. I'm going to go to this leg. Oh, I love this blue. This is such a bright blue. And we're just going to do each little section. This one is going to be this little nub right here, this little nook. Okay. And going up. Again, I'm going to leave that the light blue, and now I'm going to work on this one, leaving that joint open. Oh, I love the orange showing through. That is awesome. You can tell how many times I've used this brush. I love this brush. It's so uh, bent and dirty. Okay, and this one's kind of iffy. I'm just going to do the bottom. I'm just going to do the bottom for this one. Just like that. And, yep, I'm now going to do the bottom for this one too. Leaving that joint. Okay. And now, uh, going up. This is definitely like a really... F uh, tiny little flipper that crabs have so you want to make this end round you don't want to make it pointy and it kind of comes down like that little tiny flipper that connects so I just added a connection right there and then we're gonna go over this top part because there's some parts that are green blue 
and but right now it's just going to be our base color it's going to be blue and I'm going to do the bottom part of this because some of it is that dark blue you know you can see um, I have left oh <laughs> dropping my brush I just realized that I want to extend this to make this a bit fatter. This one's smaller, but this one is a bit fatter. There. Okay. And now on to the other legs. And I have to wet my brush. I'm going to start from bottom and work my way up. So starting from here, and this guy is all blue, very pointy claw. connect it. Connect it with a short little bottom part. And as you can see I kind of made that extend out a little bit further. That's because I wanted to fix that. And you'll probably notice yourself doing that. It's okay to fix things as you go. We can always um, paint over it later with that same color. Even though I know we have to match the color, it's still something we can do towards the end. All right. So now for the blue up here, I'm going to cover this whole thing blue. And this one actually has, this is going to be green so we're going to leave that. I just noticed something guys this is actually extended this blue goes up just this big claw is actually connected here and we're gonna paint that uh, green later so this blue goes up here and I'm gonna bring it all the way to the green part the little bit orange shining through And it's going to connect to that other claw right there. Okay. I make sure that goes as far as I can. Okay. All right. Now for the other legs, we're going to start towards the end of here. And a little bit thicker there. And I am going to do the bottom. Do something a little different. I'm just doing the bottom part. Bottom part of that little nook of the leg. Okay? And then up here I'm going to add that blue to the point the very end of the leg here. Making sure that I leave that little connection. This one definitely has it. And also, I'm going to do this full one. The full joint. Okay, and the same thing like we did here, we're going to go over here, make that cute little paddle. Oh, mine kind of extends a little over my canvas, but that's okay. Okay. 
Okay. This one's really cool because it kind of looks like a triangle. Triangle. And then this one I'm going to paint a little shorter, a little skinnier, and I'm going to paint the full one. Alrighty. We're going to wet our brush, and now we're going to move on to a light blue that we made. Okay, there's that light blue. And with my damp brush, I'm going to go in and I'm going to put this light blue on all these white spots that we left, including up here. And make sure you bring it as far as you can to the body. Try not to go out over those little jagged areas for the uh, of the body. Oh, I just love this blue. Blue is my absolute favorite color. The same thing on all these white parts of the legs. And then at the parts where I've painted half, it's going to look like this. I'm just going to leave that blue showing. So I'm just going to bring the light blue down as far as I've painted to that light blue. And same for this one. I'm just going to kind of box it in and not paint over that. Looks really cool, huh? This part is also going to be light blue. Still doing the same thing where I leave the joints that orange color. And, yep. Now, this part I'm going to leave white. Yep, I'm going to leave that part white. Oh dear, I think I might not have made enough blue, but we'll see. All right, so doing this top part. And just capping off that part that we did, just making that little bit of blue, dark blue shine through. Little section here. Soups. And then this I'm going to paint blue with that light blue. And then same with the other side. Don't worry about that. We're going to actually do that with a white. Okay, same here. I'm going to paint that little section. And then, oh good, I have enough. For here, I'm just going to paint the top, making sure I leave that blue. And then I'm not going to paint that because that's going to be a solid green. There's no blue in that. Is there any other blue that I'm seeing? Yes, I'm seeing blue. So what I'm going to do, there's parts that have little dabs of blue on the dark blue. So by now our dark blue should be dried, mostly dried. But the parts that I'm seeing that are light blue, and I'll show you, are um, the top part of here. They're just like little lines, little highlights that I, I really want to capture. And there's also a light blue highlight here because I'm not going to add straight white so I might as well just use my blue while I still have it in my palette. Right here there's light blue 
And then on this claw, there's that light blue highlight. Oh, definitely here. So I'm going to just... <clears throat> my dark blue is actually still a little wet. But that is helpful for us because that helps us to kind of blend in onto that section of the crab. I'm going to put a highlight over here. Tiny highlights with the corner of our medium brush. Little highlight there. It's always an adventure. I just kind of fool around with color. <laughs> I never really know how these things will turn out. I'm learning as I go right here. Okay, we're going to put just a little bit of a highlight on here. And then on the top here, because the light is coming directly from the top, hitting the crab. So I'm just going to put that where the light would hit. A little bit on the top here and there. And then also definitely over here. I'm going to even paint. Oops, that's okay. A little bit here. I don't really want to make a dot. I kind of want to make more of a line. And then a little bit there. <laughs> and last but not least, right on top here. Okay, so I am make I made another two colors here. And the color I made was it has titanium white with my when I always get this and raw sienna. Titanium white with raw sienna. And I added more titanium white to this one because I don't want it straight white. I, I want a little bit of um, brown to it. And then this one is my burnt sienna with my raw sienna. So I added those two together with a little bit of white. So a little bit of titanium white, burnt sienna, raw sienna to my dark one. So I want to have these two browns because we're going to kind of do the same thing. There's parts that are... Um, lighter there's parts that are darker and they kind of uh, go together so now I'm going to start with my detail brush I'm going to uh, use this white to create and I'm just changing the photo right now all right to, to create the face of this crab so I'm just going to kind of go Draw a white line right on the bottom. This is where the shell is kind of sticking out a little. And this is with my detail brush. Okay. Now I'm going to use black to, right now I'm not using black, but I'm going to use this white color to create the eyes, but I'm going to go back later with my black, probably a dark blue, brown to make the eyes. So what I'm going to do to make these eyes, and they come out ever so small, it's going to be kind of hard to see, but they kind of go over the shell just ever so slightly. So I just made a line connecting to the end of where that white line we made. And, oh, it's carrying in some green. That's okay. All right, and I just made two little circles at the end for the eyes. And that's just kind of my where I'm going to put the eyes later. Okay. So now we're going to take this white and we're going to add it to parts, just really tiny areas of the crab. So for instance, I'm going to add this white right here, just a line of white. These are actually part of the crab, they're highlights from the light, but they're also part of the crab. And I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to take this down like I did with like here. I'm not going to paint this whole thing, I'm just going to paint part of it right 
in the middle. And I'm kind of using a dry brush technique. So what that means is I'm not going to add a lot, any more paint or any more water. I'm just going to kind of use this over the light blue in the middle and to, to kind of blend it, but almost look like a spongy look. And we're going to do that a, a few places throughout. And But I want to make sure that I've kind of kept that jagged line on this part and yep and then just kept this line okay so that's dry brushing we're gonna do in order to do that you kind of need to be brushing and brushing and then there's just still a little bit of leftover paint so right now I'm gonna paint this part straight um, with with the white color it's, this is not white this is the color mixture that we made so but just so you know it is not white and I'm covering this tissue right here this connective tissue to the leg and I'm gonna do the same thing I did down here I'm gonna take I'm actually gonna have this whole left part be white and then I'm just gonna bring it down with that dry brush technique yep just like that All right, the next part that we're gonna be putting white is on that booty, on that booty up here. So I'm gonna just take this and bring it out to the side. Sorry if my hand's really in the way here, guys. You wanna make sure that top part's pretty straight. And it kind of like hugs that top part of the blue. So I didn't make it like a, a, a you know, a line. I kind of just had them connecting like that with the top part being white. Okay, so I carried that white out a little further there. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm going to leave that. No, I lied. Okay, so what I'm going to do, there's a little bit of a protective jagged area that's right around these joints. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that white and I'm just going to outline this one section. And the same thing with this section over here. So this is the the first little nub. I'm just creating a line in between the first and second nub of the leg. Okay, and then extending that all the way to the second one. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to add, like we did here, I'm just going to cover, oh, look at that, I missed that little part. I'm just going to add in that little white connective part right here over top the blue because it should be dry. And then I'm going to paint this top part like we did before. And if you have, if you're trying to do this dry brush effect and you're, it's just looking too choppy, I can actually take my brush, put um, paint on it, and then just kind of dab the paper towel and then use, so it's kind of dried out a little bit, and then bring it down. That's if you're adding too much paint and you're still not getting that effect, just so that we can let that light blue shine through. Cool. All right, I'm gonna do 
a little bit of white in between this connective or this joint here and here okay and then the same for this part one here and one here cool and now this one is using our dry brush I'm just gonna do that line on the side I'm gonna take that white up just a little bit again I added too much paint so I'm just gonna dab my paper towel do it a little bit more and just dry brush it down okay now the next section of this crab I'm just gonna do a white line just a little white line on top okay and this is fun part this is the fun part <laughs> this is fun part I'm gonna add white to the top of this big little claw right here and I'm saying white but you guys know what I mean I'm not adding just straight white I'm gonna outline this all the way down and then this is cool because this claw this uh yeah this claw has two little white nibs that come out I kind of wish we made the sand a little bit darker but that's okay points two little points one two three four and I'm gonna make a fifth right here like that <clears throat> I'm going to add some white on that shadow that we did because there's really getting a lot of highlights to that shadow. I'm going to add a little bit here as well. I'm also going to add white to the top part of this one. Just the line. Am I missing any white? Ah, uh, yes, I want to add a little bit of a little bit of white here with that dry brush effect. Bringing it down. And then I it's just not in the photo, the reference photo, but I'm just going to add some right here. Over top with my detail brush. Okay. Alright, so we have our brown color that we made and we're going to add that with our detail brush so I have a damp brush oh cat hair <laughs> got some cat hair on there okay so I'm gonna add that this is gonna take a little bit of um, patience here just outlining I really want to kind of make those more pointy more jagged and I'm just gonna outline and if you notice I'm bringing it in so I'm not just going like up and down. I want to have these things look really pointy so I'm bringing them up just over the green. Just like so. Look at all these colors coming together. Isn't it pretty? And this part is really neat because it's covering like this. I'm taking this brown over the green and I'm just gonna like leave it like that. It's just this point, brown point. 
I'm even going to extend that a little further than we did before. Wonderful. Making sure I don't leave the point that's right there. Okay, and the very same thing to the other side. I'm leaving this B. I'm leaving the Done with that sec. Oops, sorry guys. Hate when that shakes. All right, so I'm just gonna make that little pointy line go in. And I'm gonna actually carry that brown all the way from the top, well, just the, the middle of the side of the crab. So if that makes I'm going to kind of on this corner on the side I'm just going to go about halfway and then carry it down to the line that we did. Okay. All right, so we're still not done yet with that brown. That brown is gonna go, and we're just doing our layers now. This is what we're doing with our acrylics. We're always gonna layer. So the first part is gonna go right down here by, it actually is coming out from the shell. It's a brown part of the shell that just comes out don't really know what it is exactly but and then brown section that's right there okay and the same thing with here this has a little bit of brown the bottom side. I think the most important thing is just trying to make things as symmetrical as possible. Crabs are very symmetrical. And then there's brown. This little section that's been white all this time, we can finally paint it. Finally cover that white. And I'm not going to cover this blue section that we did before. I'm going to actually paint around it. And I just want this to kind of cap around, it's almost like elbow pads, around that claw. And surprisingly, this brown is sitting on top of this claw right here. I'm not sure what this is, but you know what? It adds flavor. And that goes actually all the way down. All the way down. And then even a little bit on the top part there. Yep, so I'm even painting a little bit of brown on the very top of that claw. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this leg that I did over here. And then I have a little bit of brown to put up there. So let's go do that. Oh, I have not been wetting my brush. I must do that. Make sure it's damp. Going with that brown. And I'm going to paint this part here. Like that. Okay, so 
I'm seeing this brown. Is right up here. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. Just one. This is now inside because of the way it's facing us. I'm going to bring this over like that. And the same thing over here. Brown coming down. I bet you this just helps the crab be able to swim. This is maybe just added um, flippers or something, like added, uh, just helps with their ability to swim in the ocean. <clears throat> okay. All right, so now I'm gonna put some brown. This is gonna look a little funny because we're gonna make uh, our, our green color next, but there's a little brown that's right the top part of here. There's two lines that we're going to do. Two browns. Parts right there. And we're going to paint over that, in between that, um, some green um, in just a little bit. Now there's a little brown touching here on that booty. And that crab butt. All right, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put away my detail brush. I'm gonna grab my medium brush, wash it out. Mine still has blue in it. And I'm going to, this is gonna be a little on the tricky side because this is um, a technique that I learned, but I have a, a pretty damp brush. I'm just gonna make sure I create this brown liquid I'm making sure it's really light really liquidy not dripping because my brush is not dripping it's just damp but I want to now put that brown with my medium brush right here on the back of the crab seeing not indent but like this color um, marking on the back of the crab and just with this light brown over the green that's how I'm gonna make that I might even want to bring this up just a little bit more it actually connects okay so I'm gonna make this connect See, we're all learning. This is how you get better at painting. You just paint, and that's the only way to learn. Even though it can look a little intimidating, you just test it, you can always paint over it. it should be fun, it shouldn't be scary. All right. All right, so the other thing, this is uh, something I don't want to forget, but what, uh, wash out your medium brush because we're gonna go in with that that white mixture that we made to add the dry brush effect I'm gonna use that with my medium brush and and this is not the same way We're not gonna make sure this is like really wet. This is just getting the paint and there is two There's two white marks on This crab Right here, okay? Two white marks like that. And making sure that um, I am now going to go. All right, friends. So the next color that I mixed is yellow ochre with my grass green. Yes, with my grass green right here. And um, it is not too yellow. It's also not too green. It's just right. I added um, actually the same amount of yellow that I did with green. 
So, and I'm going to be covering that at parts of the body with my medium brush and parts of the leg. Okay, so with a damp brush, I'm going to be adding this green. This is now the highlights on the shell. I don't want to go over that white part, but I want to just paint right up to it. And there's some right here. We're not making a shape, we're just kind of loosely painting over it. Very loose. Same thing with the other side. Oh, I love this color. Doesn't this look so pretty, guys? This is really just so bright and colorful. I know it's probably getting annoying now. Yes, Lauren, we know it's colorful, but this is what gets me painting. It's just the colors and the just what I'm painting is always so much fun. And now, guys, so we did that part. I'm also going to add some green right here. And right here. This is kind of where this shape is coming from. It kind of looks almost like a diamond a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of green here. Where else is there green? I'm going to add a little bit more green down here. Okay. And okay, so like I said before, that green is going to go right, just leaving some brown and leaving some blue. And then it's also going to go just right on the on the edge of that little nook. So this is one, two, three. Far back legs, the last three, or the, the inward three little nubs. Okay. Just placing the paint in some sections. Okay, so now there's definitely green over here. It's just going to start at the top, leaving the bottom part brown. Same with this, the top leaving the bottom part brown. Where else do I see green? I'm also seeing some green right here, but still letting that blue shine through. And guys, I think we're good with the green. All right, so the, the next color we made, and I think this is our final color, guys. I think this is our last one. Um, is I made just a little bit. I am do, using that technique where I'm just kind of watering it down so I'm not, so I'm just kind of lightly going over it. And I used my um, burnt sienna with my dark blue and I mixed that together. I don't like to use black. A lot of people know that about me. I don't use, I don't really like to use black. So I'll mix dark brown with a blue. And I wanna make sure I wet my brush add some water to it, almost as if it's like watercolor, making sure my brush is not too uh, dripping wet. And now where I'm going to add this is the first part is oh, right in here, the very bottom. This is kind of like adding those really dark lights, low lights. And then, you know what, I'm going to add a little bit more dark, a little more brown. I'm going to add that brown, that dark blue right here, as well as right here. This is my medium brush, by the way. In between the claw, okay? So where this claw is, it's just on that one side, okay? So not both sides, just on the one side. I'm going to add it to the bottom of this and here. Oops, this is just adding those final last low lights. The bottom here. Okay, I'm actually gonna do it. Oh, my brush is a little fatter than I had predicted. And then right here. I'm 
just putting them on the top part. I don't want to cover anything. I'm just kind of outlining it. All right, and definitely in here alongside those little bumps. Oh, I forgot to put some green there, guys. If you still have any of your green left, that green actually goes... <laughs> learn from your mistakes goes right here over top so that green is just touching the very front part just like that okay so I'm gonna wash out my brush and go back to my dark blue okay so getting that dark blue that dark brown dark blue I'm making some more as you can see okay and I want to add some more water want to lighten that up I don't want to have my brush running okay so now this blue is gonna just go right here I'm just gonna further uh, accentuate that angle okay and it actually goes up like this and around and it goes oh this is so cool line like here And then it gets really dark right up to where we did those eyes and then comes up again okay almost reminds me for some reason of the Ninja Turtle right now uh, I'm just gonna go over that a little bit more that this is actually raised up so what I mean by that is this comes up a little bit to triangle right here okay all right and then the last thing guys we're gonna do is grab your detail brush where is my detail brush I'm gonna grab another one um, is so mixing this is gonna be straight without using any water because I want this really dark so brown and blue, and I'm just going to paint the eyes. Okay, so I wanna leave a little bit of white left underneath and then draw those that line towards the body. And then again, create that circle and then bring that down underneath the shell. All right, I actually thought we were done, but I'm seeing some more detail and I can't miss out on detail and I want, this is like the final touch that'll really make it come together. So with our detail brush, we're going to take um, that white mixture that we made, which was the uh, raw sienna with our titanium white. And with our detail brush, a damp detail brush, I'm gonna do little tiny dots on the top of the shell and they're really small guys so you don't have to make these really big this is really tiny and I'm just putting this over the whole front part it's not at the back it's just all alongside this part right here okay even into the the black or the dark blue that we made you thought you were done this is what it's gonna bring it all together. And I'm really not using any water with this unless my brush gets really kind of chunky and starts making these really thick circles. Then I have to wash my brush out. But for now, I'm just dipping it straight back into my paint. I would say it goes like right here it kind of goes a little bit above here but then it stops that's about it and if there's anything if you finish up with these dots guys 
If there's any questions that you have, I am more than happy to answer them in the comment section or to message me. This one was kind of a, a lot of different steps, a lot of layers and a lot of different colors. So if you, like I would presume you have some questions. does make a difference adding this really does make it look better now if you really want to get creative you can add some seashells I can just envision some seashells around here like poking out from the side of the canvas that would look cool I'm tempted to do that, but I don't want to overwhelm you guys. Since I have this white, I'm just going to go over that just to make that stand out a little bit better. And now I think we're done. Yes, I do not see any more final touches that we need to make. That's it guys. Nice job. questions please email me or message me leave them in the comment section below and I'll respond back to you as soon as I can all right guys thank you so much and we'll see you at the next video bye